Welcome on in to another Raw Thoughts from, uh, what day was that yesterday? January 18th, 2016, and this is in no particular order. Obviously, I'll be brief today, just some of my thoughts, not going to review the whole show. You could, I'm sure you watched it, not going to go over match by match, but uh, no particular order here. Uh, but we'll start off with the first segment there when you had the League of Nation or the League of Urinations. They were up on stage there, and boy, 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 was those promos. Oh, cringe worthy. Cringe worthy. Rusev just looks petrified of the microphone. Seamus, who's been here forever, couldn't save, save his life. The Rio, he was actually charismatic at one point in his first run, in my humble opinion anyway. He was able to cut a decent promo. I mean, he had the limo, he had the cars, he had the, he had the ring announcer, he had everything. And now, he can't even cut a promo to save his life. Wade Barrett, he's like, ah, no, man, I don't want no part of this at all. He didn't even bother getting the mic. And then in that first segment, you had Jericho there, who, who was able to cut a decent promo. I don't know if he had an off night, but he looked like he, like he didn't know what to say. He didn't know when to go. Like he was starting, thinking Roman Reigns was going to say something. Jericho had the mic uh uh, moving the mic all over the place, it seemed a little bit lost. And Roman Reigns came out to be, from all of those, the guy who does, couldn't cut a promo, who's come up, uh, you know, a little bit of a way there. He seemed to be the one that was the most comfortable on the mic. What irony is that, huh? And then uh, just the little things that matter in storyline-wise, why is Jericho making a match? I thought the authority makes a match, no? Uh, what else there? The, the Divas Division. Bipolar Divas Division. Bipolar. Today... Or last night, you seen all of a sudden Paige now back with Natty. And Paige is now, I guess, a face again. If you remember, Natty and Paige had this huge fallout. And now all of a sudden, they're buddy buddies again with no explanation. Speaking of which, Brie Bella is now a heel again, I guess. But she was supposed to be a face Last week, I'm losing track. Are you losing track? Because I am, and it just continues to go on and on. Um, speaking of which, when you have a uh, match was made with the Divas, when you have Charlotte going over, uh, Charlotte defending her title against uh, Becky Lynch, and I think Charlotte just needs to... Ah, jeez, just needs to lose the strap. She's not connecting with the audience. Ric Flair got to sit her down and, I guess, teach her how to cut a decent promo. Why does Charlotte Flair have that video package still where it feels like it's <laughs> like, a, like, a, um, like a strip club type of music? How about in that video montage of her entrance and Charlotte having some some video of her with her father and um, yeah, I mean it just seems so out of place that video montage just looking at it again and uh, boy I know Charlotte has you know been got a late start in the business but just my opinion here armchair quarterback uh, boy she really needs to improve hasn't been connecting with the audience just a backtracking here for you um when you had the league of um urination the league of nations there um 
when they had that match, man, League of Nations was on the outside, Jericho special guest referee. Um, and he was slowly uh, kicking everyone out to the back there. Did you notice Alberto Del Rio? Like, he was, like, legitimately pissed. Did you see his facial expression? Like, holy crap. Like, Alberto, you realize this is a, uh, a work, right? I mean, take a look at that video footage again. You'll see what I mean. New Day with the funeral for... Uh, with the funeral for Francine, the trombone. <laughs> New Day just continues to make me chuckle. They do. They really do. Um, why it's yet again against um, Team 3D. Jeez. Jeez, if you guys thought, like I did, that Dudley's would win a title here, they would, you know, come in and win a title. You seen that reaction that you got in that they got in Brooklyn? You thought it would be all right, Dudley boys may be winning the title and for a short little run. That shit doesn't look like it's happening at all. Nope. It just simply looks like he, like they're here to just put over some of the talent. Um, you know, uh, let that be a lesson to us that, you know, reaction that they get and how they debut, you know, the, the fans no longer are going to dictate um, what will be of a said performer. No, the WWE will handle all of that. No more uh, dictation. I'm sure everyone, you know, at first everyone was cheering for the Dudleys. And now they're losing and that reaction is getting smaller and smaller. And uh, it, it's funny how at first how it's booked. The, this this feud between the Wyatts and the Dullies is booked. It seems to me ass backwards, you know, where you know d uh, tables and all of this should be culmination should be at the end. And we had that in the beginning, and now we just have regular matches. I don't get that. Um, Kevin Owens on commentary. It is golden again just really living up to that old school heel persona never breaking character and I like it I like that interaction what he has with Byron Byron shut up <laughs> I mean, it is funny it really is um Brock Lesnar being laid out by the Wyatt family. Wow. Wow. Is this setting up for a um, Wyatt family of uh, Bray Wyatt versus Brock Lesnar at WrestleMania? Sure looks that way. Sure looks that way. Um, you know, as far as Raw, just it was... Kind of boring, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, you know, the go-home show before um, Royal Rumble. Um, interesting to see what will happen. Maybe there will be some surprises. Who knows? Just want to give you my thoughts. Hope all is well.